What's up guys, it's me, your badass host Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Platinum walkthrough. Okay, so here we are back in Salacion Town, and uh, well, we got a lot of stuff to do. We're going to be exploring a little bit of this, a little bit of that, but you know, talk to this guy, and he'll actually, uh, he'll actually want you, or he actually wants to see what a Rotom looks like, and luckily for us, we did capture a Rotom early on in this adventure, so that is exactly what we're going to do. We're just going to be showing him a few things, and then after that explore a little bit of that like I said early on um, where did we capture Rotom again oh yeah in that haunted house yeah managed to capture that Rotom in a haunted house and well let's see where is it right now I'm gonna use the move indicator right here and there he is or it is I don't know it doesn't have a gender whatever whatever not even gonna get into that so we're gonna put it in our party and we're gonna go back into that house and see what this guy says he says that he like heart scales and pokey balls or whatever he 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 has something for us so who doesn't like free shit really who doesn't so here it is show him the Rotom and a closer look right 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 oh look at that write an article for that and he gives us timer balls which are very very good for um oh yeah look at that we got a heart scale too that can actually be traded for you know, other services like teaching Pokemon new moves and all that stuff. Um, timer balls, you know, it's a very, very good Pokeball for uh, ongoing battles if you uh, are taking on any kind of legendary Pokemon. Not super effective, but, you know, it's still good enough. Better than an Ultra Ball. And, uh, alrighty, so let's go ahead and grab this Bidoof right here because we still need that Pokemon to actually go around everywhere. It can learn Rock Smash, Strength, Surf, whatever. It's the biggest HM slave ever. I call it the HM slut. So here we are, Salacion Town. And there's a few berries that we can pick up, like the person berry. You know, who doesn't like person berries? Who really doesn't? And there's a nana berry. The nana berry is pretty good. Very, very good stuff. You know, it heals uh, something. And there's another nana berry because we love nana berries. And then we got one more thing right here. And yes, the figgy berry. I don't know what that heals up, but it sounds delicious. Alrighty, back to the earthly state, and, uh, well, Salacion Town is the, uh, oh, the dang. So this guy here gives us the Pokemon History Poke uh, Tech app, which, uh, I guess enable enables us to see which Pokemon we caught, uh, the history of which Pokemon we caught and all that stuff. So the last Pokemon I actually caught was, uh, uh Badoo or something. Or no, I, actually the last Pokemon that I got was, uh, Curlia, because it evolved. So I guess it's listening. It's listing all the all the Pokemon that I've caught so far, or evolved, and all that stuff. Now, Salacion Town is the home of the Pokemon Daycare, where you can actually go home and breed Pokemon. You know, if you want an extra, uh, if you want an extra starter Pokemon, yeah, you can do that right here. Um, I don't know where you can get what's his face, uh, Ditto, but yes, you can actually go there and and breed Ditto with a bunch of Pokemon to get baby Pokemon. You know that kind of stuff. And, uh, let's see, talk to this person, something about Pokemon, this, laying eggs, it hasn't been proven that Pokemon don't learn how to, or lay eggs, you know, that kind of stuff. And, uh, well, if you talk to this guy, he is the daycare man, and he would like for us to, or if we want to raise Pokemon in his daycare, go talk to the wife right there. Uh, it's not like the traditional daycares where, you know, you... You, you simply leave Pokemon or they give you a Pokey Egg or anything like that. Now, if you talk to this person right here, uh, this person will actually let us know what kind of nature our Pokemon are. And, uh, well, I guess natures are very, very big factor in a Pokemon's growth or anything like that. So, that's uh, also a very good place to go if you guys are that in, uh, into uh, learning what, poke what, what uh, natures uh, help your Pokemon grow, which stats and whatnot. And, uh, let's see, what's next right here? Ah, this house right here. I think there's like two or three houses here, so... You talk to this person, and, uh... Oh, yeah, this person will actually talk to you about a seal case. And for those who don't know, seals are basically decorations for a Pokeball. You can actually decorate them in your Poke... or in your PC, uh... And they're called ball capsules and whatnot, and, you know, whatever Pokeball you decorate, and you throw them out during battle, you can actually see them uh, just you know the decorations right there when Pokemon's coming out of the Pokeball so that's another thing that we can do I don't think I'm gonna be doing it because yeah I'm just into the main game that kind of stuff or maybe I'll teach you guys later on who knows we shall see and uh, let's see who's next 
Oh yeah, there's a cave right there. Pretty cool cave. But we're gonna grab this item right here. And we found ourselves our PP up, which is awesome. Very, very awesome. I guess for, you know, PowerPoints and all that stuff. Or the the, the, the standard joke of the PP or anything like that. So that's another one right there. And uh, let us move on right here. Now we're gonna go into the cave right here. I think it's called the Wayward Cave. No. No, we passed the Wayward Cave. We're way past the Wayward Cave. This one right here, I don't know what it's called. We will find out right now. The Salacion Ruins. And if you read the hieroglyphics right here, or whatever, top right, huh, it will give you directions on where to go. Lower left, and then, let's see, top right, hmm, top left. Of course, I'm writing this down as I'm doing this, top left, and uh, lower left, okay. So those are directions on where to go. Um, like I said, I actually... I actually wrote this down be, uh, beforehand, that way I, I actually show you guys where, where it leads you. And one of the biggest things you can actually find here is in unknowns. Uh, or you can actually find unknowns here, if you guys want, want to be like vocabulary Nazis here. Um, yeah, you can find the, uh, the unknowns right here. And there is a special thing going on right now, if you capture all the unknowns in the alphabet, you will be unable to actually go into a secret room. Uh, way later on into this whole adventure right here and on top of that it will actually enable you to capture the last two unknowns which is unknown question mark and unknown exclamation mark which I guess are new to uh, to the game right here and uh, that is exactly what I'm gonna do right now I'm just gonna capture one unknown who knows maybe off screen I'm gonna try and grind it out and capture all the unknowns uh, remember every single room has a different kind of a uh, well, different kind of uh, unknown. Uh, what I like to do right here is I actually like to uh, nickname an unknown what, whatever the letter it is. So I don't know what this one is. It's probably P. Unknown P. Yeah, I probably got that right. I don't even know. So I'm gonna follow the directions that I uh, initially wrote down, and uh, it's gonna show you where it's at. Uh, also, this is a place where you can actually find the elemental stone. So if you guys have an Eevee with you. And you wanted to, do, to evolve it into a Vaporeon or Jolteon, or for those who are crazy enough to evolve it into a Flareon, this is the place to be. And, uh, well, we got ourselves a Pokemon battle, which we all love. We love Pokemon battles. So let's go with the Dragon Rage right here. Showing this Geodude who is boss. That's right. Toothless. The Gibble. The Gabble. The Garchomp Destroyer, right? I don't even know. So let's go again. Here we go with the takedown. Don't know why I picked takedown, but I still did it anyways. I don't know. Maybe I wanted to uh, dabble with uh, a little bit in the danger zone and all that stuff. And here he comes out with another Geodude. So what we're going to do is I'm actually going to switch it out. And I'm going to go with Donatello just for, you know, quick and easy, swift, painless defeats for these guys. I don't know. So there it is, Geodude looking like a badass. But my Donatello is much more of a badass than that badass. So here we go, Razor Leaf for the win. Oh yeah. And uh, Geodude's been defeated. Oh yeah, defeated pretty easily. And uh, well, let's see, he's coming out with a Bronzor. So now this is a new Pokemon. I think I've battled him before, but new Pokemon to the game right here. It is both a Psychic and Steel type Pokemon. The best way to go about this guy is a Fire type, but I don't really have a Fire type with me. Kind of sucks. The next best, best option is just to have a stronger Pokemon than, than a Bronzor. And, well, as you can see, Hypnosis does me in. Not fair, man. Not cool. Let's go with Hydra number four. That's right. Hydra number four is going to do it. Alrighty, alrighty. We're gonna lower your attack. We're gonna do something bad, and wow. As you can see, I'm not having the best of luck right now because it likes to confuse people, that jerk. And, uh, well, we're gonna be going like this Dragon Rage just for an easy, easy victory. Look at that. Look at that. That's easy stuff. Easy, easy stuff. And uh, Bronzor is defeated. Toothless gained some experience points from it without doing anything. And, uh, well, actually did something, maybe. I don't know. But as you can see, that's easy. Easy money right there. So let us let us move on right here. 
Let us move on right here. And I'm, again, I'm following the directions. And uh, let's see. There it is. And uh, let's see. There we go. And uh, as you can see, friendship. All lives. Something, something matter. Or something lives to create something. And uh, yeah, I can't even read that. So I'm going to let you guys uh, dis decipher that. But in this room, you can actually find a nugget. The HMO5 defog, which is going to be needed for the Lost Tower. And uh, this one right here, the Mind Plate, which is also good for Psychic-type Pokemon. And uh, what else? What else? What else? Oh, yes, yeah, this. The Odd Instance, which I think, uh, yeah, prevents, yeah, prevents from people from messing you up or something. I don't even know. Anywho, I'm just going to be going around from room to room because there are there are some items that we still need to get, like the elemental stones. This is the place where you can actually find them. And uh, let's see. I might be, you know, repeating the steps, going through same areas and stuff. This place doesn't have anything. And, uh, well, let's see. I'm just going to... Yeah, I'm going to use the item finder right here because that, it, that will be the best indicator to... That will be the best bet to actually find the best... Or to find the elemental stones. And as you can see, we found ourselves another unknown. I believe this one's unknown R. And uh, why I didn't edit this out, I I guess I just wanted to show you guys the, uh, the unknowns. I really don't know. So let's go ahead and grab that. And as you can see, we got ourselves a water stone. So that's one down, and we got a few, go a few more to go. Like I said, I'm going to be repeating myself quite a few times. But there goes a repel. And, uh, well... Going up here. I think I've already gone right here. And I've already been here. So let's go right here. And uh, let's go right here. And uh, nope, nothing right there. These lone stones will actually give you an, an item again, guys. Elemental stones if you need them. And there we are, the Thunderstone for those who want to evolve their, their uh, EV into Jolteon. Which is also good. And there is one more thing, one more. There's a firestone around here, so let's go ahead and uh, try and find that. No, nope, we've already been here. Didn't need the well, we needed the directions for that one. And uh, nothing right there. Huh. So let's see, we're gonna go down here. Right here? No, nothing. I think I've already been there. I'm gonna yeah, I'm repeating myself a lot. So let's see. I'm gonna go let's go right here. I think I've already been here. Nope, yep, been here, and, uh, let's see, Repel's worn off, so I don't want to get attacked by any more unknown, so let's, uh, why did I push that again, I don't know, let's go right here, and, uh, nothing, okay, absolutely nothing, and, uh, let's go up here, and, uh, I think I've already been here before, it could be wrong, yeah, I've been here before, <laughs> oh, god, you see, this is why you you should leave a track or, or, or indicators that you've already been there. Um, already talked to this guy, but if you go to this guy after you found the HMO05 fog, he'll actually give you something for letting uh, you share or letting uh, for sharing with with him uh, the HMO5, and he'll actually give you a green shard, which I'm pretty sure that can uh, be sold for a a uh, leaf stone. Am I right or am I wrong? I can't be. I don't even know. And there's nothing right there. And let's go up here, and nothing. I think I've already been to all the rooms except the entrance way. So let's see, I haven't been to this room. And uh, nothing, and uh, let's see, I think there's one on the corner right here that I haven't even gone to, yeah. This one right here, is it? And yes, we found ourselves a Firestone, which of course can be used to evolve Eevee into a Flareon if you guys are crazy enough to do that. Anywho, we're done with the Salacion Ruins, and like I said earlier, guys, if you capture all the unknowns, you will be unable to go to the top floor, but that top floor will be going to, uh, that will be going to another place right there. So I'll talk to you guys in the next episode. I'll see you guys next time.